Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to John's Reviews. Once again, I'm John. Uh, earlier in the day, I took a picture of something I posted on Facebook so that I was going to review it and to decide what else I wanted to review today. And today, we are reviewing Rockstar Thermo. Let's see, I got a picture of this thing here. So, 1000 BC AA aminos, zero sugar, green tea extract. Green tea is always good for you, right? COQ10, whatever the hell that is, I don't know. Electrolytes are always good for you. Gluten-free, which I really don't care about. I mean, I, you know, some people are allergic to gluten. I'm not. I like gluten, but that's just me. But the good thing is, no artificial colors, which is always a plus. No sugar, no calories, which is good for you. Green tea extract, vitamins, that's always good for you. Acids, caffeine, well, caffeine could be good for you a little bit, but you don't want to freaking drink too much and be jittery and whatnot. Uh, looks like no fat, no carbs, unfortunately no protein, sodium, eh, too much sodium ain't good for you either. And of course a bunch of vitamins and stuff, right? So it's all supposed to be good for you. You know, only drink it if you're 18, you don't need, you know, little kids bouncing off the walls from drinking this stuff. So I already opened on the way home because I was thirsty. So let's, uh, let's uh, give it a little taste here. Ah. Not too bad. It says Tropical Fire on there is the flavor. And um, I have to say it's pretty damn good. Um, if you're needing caffeine for the day, or at least like in the morning when you go to work, so you're not just like, oh, I'm tired because I stayed up all night, or because you're up with the baby, or doing, you know, whatever else, you'll definitely get your uh, caffeine worth. Um, I'd say I definitely have to give this one three and a half stars. Not something I drink all the time, plus supposedly it's supposed to be good for, like, you know, it's got the, what is it, thermo, I guess, I don't know, thermogenics, apparently it's supposed to be good for, you drink it and then drink some water and go work out, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely, uh, definitely not bad. Uh, not my favorite, but, like I said, it's pretty damn good, so, what did I say, three and a half stars, something like that, so, definitely recommend checking this one out, and... Next thing we got, I tried this one the other day, Arrogant Bastard L. Now, I didn't review this the other day. I just put a picture of it on Facebook and told people what I thought. Um, let's see. It looks like we got 7.2% alcohol by volume. It's a pint. Uh, it's brewed and canned in California, in Richmond, Virginia. Drink Fresh Numbskull. I don't know what that is. That's a company or whatever. Uh, arrogant bastard refused to be ignorant. Know where your beer comes from. Okay. Independent craft beer. Uh, I mean, as far as craft beers go. All right. Cool. You know, the design of the can is pretty cool. It's like a... Uh, supposed to be a devil or a goat or something. I don't know. I, mean, I think it looks pretty cool. This one's a little bit... Uh, I guess I wouldn't really call it an IPA. I don't know. I guess could you call it an IPA? I don't know. Well, let's uh, let's give her an old taste through here. That's yeah, definitely a little bit stouter than what I had yesterday. It uh, looks pretty, it's kind of like a dark beer. I'd almost say, it says it's an ale. So, I mean, it's not a lager, obviously. It's got, uh, you could taste the hops and whatnot in there. It's pretty good. I said, I mean, this one's a pretty big one. So, what is what I say? This was a pint. Yeah, uh, one pint, 3.2 fluid ounce. I can't remember where exactly I got this thing. I might have picked it up at QFC. I definitely recommend it. Uh, I'd give this one about three stars, right? Something you could, I mean, not something I'd want to just sit there and chug and get trashed off of. It'd be more like something, okay, you have a few sips here, a few sips there. Maybe drink a couple, depending on how you're feeling that day, what your uh, alcohol intake, what you want your alcohol intake to be. It doesn't really have a bitter aftertaste. It's pretty smooth. Like I said, I definitely uh, recommend this guy. Not too bad here. And um, since I did the Goonies yesterday, I figured I'd do this classic, uh, was it 94, 95 movie? I think it's 94. I have to look it up. But we have the classic, the Jim Carrey, The Mask, is uh, one of the movies that pretty much made him a household name. You know, it obviously had Cameron Diaz, one of her first movies had a lot of comedy in it and you know, a lot of funny stuff because he's pretty much like a cartoon character in the movie right a little bit of action you know a little bit of drama 
as far as like a love story between him and Cameron Diaz. A lot of great special effects for the time, you know, the mid-90s. You know, CGI wasn't that great yet, but it was still pretty good. Uh, it spawned a sequel with Jamie Kennedy, which I liked it. It's not something I'd want to see all the time. I mean, apparently the critics thought it sucked ass, but I didn't think it was a bad movie. It could have been better. Uh, it spawned a cartoon series, which eh, wasn't too bad. Uh, a lot of action figures, which were kind of cool. You know, all in all, I'd say I'd give this movie about three and a half stars. I'd say check it out if you haven't seen it already. I mean, it's been out since the mid-90s. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's going to be it for today. So, um, I guess don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for the support so far. And uh, there'll definitely be more videos in the future. All right, y'all have a great day. Bye.